Praise the Lord. Good morning. On my perch. Looking at the people. The hustle and bustle of Chicago. As people head to their appointed destinations and final destinations at the same time. I feel 100% better. But I'm still not 100%. But I feel pretty good. I thank God for recovery and, and, and the truth that we're all wonderfully made. I thank Him for the defenses of the body. I thank Him for healing. You know, when making a decision, I've discovered in 52 years of living that you can't be under the influence of anger, alcohol, dope, drugs, pride. You have to be sober in order to make a sober decision. We thank God for a sound mind and a sound heart. And I thank God for blessing me to hear the sound of his voice and for the soundness that seals me deep on the inside. But whenever you're going to make a decision, you know, some of the decisions are going to be like tearing of the soul, Velcro tearing of the soul. Some of the decisions are just going to be routine. But a lot of people can only make a decision they know they need to make under the influence of anger. They can only divorce or want to divorce or want to leave when they're angry. They can only want to break up or want to be uh, away from this person when they're angry or upset as I leave this alone. But when we can start making decisions not predicated or, or, or indicative of anger or we under the influence of anger, just like when I was in Bible college, Dr. Gaston, you say all the time, there's three times you shouldn't be in power. When you lost power, when you abuse power, and when you're seeking power, as I leave this alone. But when you can make a decision and you're not under the influence of pride, anger, you're not upset. See, it's easy to throw him out when you're mad. It's easy to leave her when you're mad. It's easy to break up when you're mad. It's easy to file for divorce when you're angry. It's easy to tell somebody how you feel when you're upset. But when you can speak your mind, hallelujah, and you're not under the influence of power or drugs or dope or you're drunk with anger or pride, when you can make a decision based on clarity, I can see clearly now the rain is gone. I can see all the obstacles in my way. Gonna be a bright, 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 sunshiny day. We have to make all decisions. Some are hard, some are easy, some are rich, repetitive, and many are much needed. But we have to make these decisions not under the influence of anger, drugs, dope, alcohol, power, pride, not under the influence of self-righteousness. When we can make decisions that we know we need to make and not be under the influence of anything but the power and the grace and the love and the presence of God, when we can make sober-minded decisions, when we can make decisions we know we need to make and we're not angry, then and only then have we arrived to manhood, womanhood, adulthood, parenthood, or grownhood, or out the hood, whatever hood you want to call. We have to make decisions, not under the influence, not under the influence of self-righteousness or anger or pride or racism or bigotry. When you can make a decision and you're sober-minded, then that decision you make, you won't regret. Be ye sober. God bless you. Peace. One.